Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about endurance, exercise, and ketosis. Now, there's this really strong idea that when you work out, especially endurance ath athletics, uh, triathlons, marathons, that you need to consume a lot of carbohydrates before, during, and after the workout. Because you'll deplete your gly glycogen reserve if you don't consume carbs. So we, we only have a small amount of reserve of sugar. It's called glycogen. It's stored glucose. Um, and when you actually deplete that, you hit a wall of fatigue where you can't go anymore. That's called bonked, okay? Glycogen depletion. You run out of your sugar and you better have some more to keep going. Um, so that's been the kind of the idea that's floating around for a long time. But some new research is saying the opposite. You don't have to go through this. There's a thing called ketosis or keto adaptation, which is doing ketosis for a period of time to the point where your body is fully adapted to running on fat fuel. Okay, that takes a lot longer. In fact, some of the studies that were done in the past only went for like a month of keto adaptation. That's just not enough. If you're a, if you're a really good athlete or a high, high level elite athlete and you do it for a month, you might not see the results as compared to doing it for six months or even a year. So this study uh, showed more of a long-term keto adaptation. And what they found was two things, very interesting. Number one, there was no bad effects on this glycogen depletion. In other words, your body now was a fat burning machine that was running on fats and you didn't need to rely on this glycogen reserve anymore. So there was no fatigue, no hitting a wall, none of that. That was interesting. And the elite endurance athletes had significant enhanced fat burning, more than double the sugar burners. Actually, it was 2.3x. That's incredible. So the cells basically were fat burning machines after they keto adapt. And that's after a 180 minute exercise with also evaluating a 120 minute post-exercise period. There was no problems with glycogen. So they burn double the fat and they had no problems with glycogen. So your muscles do not have to rely just on glucose. They can run on fat. So I put some links down below. If you're an athlete, you need to evaluate this and check this out. Check out the research down below and I think you're gonna find it quite interesting. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, hey listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause, the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.